So what's on the horizon, the upcoming clinical trials? Um, I'm very excited about this, but uh, we'll go to the next slide actually. Um, the one thing I just want to briefly talk about is, uh, you know, when we talk about DNA, RNA, and protein, okay, we have DNA, which is our blueprint that then transcribes into it like an operational plan with the RNA. And then that translates into the, the protein that then works on receptors. And to date, most of our cardiovascular drugs have worked in on that protein or on that receptor. Um, what's very exciting and very elegant with some of these newer therapies that are being studied is they're working upstream from that. So they will be working on mostly kind of either the translation to the uh, mRNA or on the RNA itself to actually uh, reduce the production of the offending uh, protein. And that design is, is quite elegant in that it can be very specific to the protein. And some of the, the technology they've used has um, decreased the amount of drug that's required to enter the system to have a, a very dramatic effect. Um, and so, you know, the three agents you may have heard of are first is Pelicarsin, which is also known as TQJ230. Um, it's probably the furthest along and being developed by Novartis. It's currently in phase three trials. And then we also have Alpacaran, uh, also known as AMG 890. It's a small RNA molecule. Again, it, I think it's in phase two now, it's being developed by Amgen. And the third would be SLN 360, which again is a small interfering RNA and it's being developed by Silence Therapeutics. Um, if these three agents, prove to be safe and effective in reducing events, we may be able to have a treatment on the market in as soon as five years. I mean, that's, that's very exciting for those of us who have been taking care of these patients for some time.